All right, everybody. We've already seen how we can add a lot of stuff here into our own blogs from WordPress. But if you want to add, let's say, for example, these custom, uh, custom WhatsApp stuff here into our own store, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. What you want to do after you are now into WordPress, I'm going to go into the X mark. I'm going to go into the back side like this. I'm going to leave. And here, I want to locate the page that I want to add the actual WhatsApp. So there's two ways that we can do this. What you can do if you uh, have the enough media, you can go into the pages, you can go into in here, you can go into edit. And once you are into the edit part, you want to go into the add blocks. And here into the blocks, you want to go for the actual patterns. So whether you can choose to explore all the patterns so you can look out for blocks. So here is going to be appearing the WhatsApp button. So what I just need to do is to drag and drop this one in here. And as you can see, we do have the chat on WhatsApp. Well, let's say contact us and delete the chat part on WhatsApp like that. And I'm going to leave this like that. Or I can add another stuff, for example, contact with WhatsApp, contact with WhatsApp, contact with WhatsApp like this. I'm just going to drag and drop that in here. And I'm going to delete this one because I don't want to see this anymore like this and I'm going to delete this file. There we go. Now, lastly, guys, if you want to add the actual WhatsApp inside your Canva, inside your actual website, um, what I can do is to go into the very first part of my dashboard. Of course, you need a premium plan or a different plan in order to add that, but you can go into the plugins and here into plugins, I can look out for WhatsApp. And here it says click to chat, click to chat application. And I can just click in here and I can just add this into my store. So this one is going to be redirecting me into the WhatsApp section because it's going to be more, much more easier. But that's just two options. You can do this like uh, a paid option or a free option. You can use whatever option you want to do. Just take in mind that this one, of course, need to make an upgrade in the activation of your store in order to work. So with that being said, guys, we're reaching to the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to see more great free and paid tools for WordPress. So thank you once again for watching this video, guys. And I will see you on the next video. See you soon.